The Federal Ministry of Water Resources has underscored the need for participatory irrigation management model in all irrigation schemes in the country to ensure food security. Dr. Elijah Aderibibe, Director, Irrigation and Drainage in the Ministry, made the call on the sidelines of a two-day workshop on institutional strengthening and management of public irrigation schemes in Kefi. Elijah noted that the 12 river basin development authorities were in charge of all irrigation schemes nationwide. There are different types of irrigation projects. You have surface irrigation projects and uh, you have um, pressurized irrigation projects. You have a use sprinkler system or drip irrigation system. Like center pivot irrigation system, those ones that no spray water. Because of the materials of construction of those equipment, some of these things are stolen. They balance them, to melt them, to go and make spoons. Call the tires of the center pivot to make slippers, uh, shoes. These are, we're talking about millions of dollars and millions of naira involved. And now somebody now melting them, now denying the, 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 the entire uh, people in the value chain not to be employed. No, once they are stolen, it can't, it can't work. When you, when, when you vandalize about um, 100 million naira equipment to go and do something of uh, 2,000 naira or 5,000 naira, it's, it's useless. But you know they don't care because it's not their money. And that's the more reason why when, when the farmers are involved, when it's their own, they will know when the stranger comes in and if it's among them, they will see some of this equipment with them and they will be able to shout and uh, do something about it. They will be able to secure them. According to him, the aim is to boost food production, job creation, food security, and move people out of poverty. This government has uh, made it clear their uh, targets, among which is food security, employment, moving people out of poverty. But of course, food is number one. And um, all this money will be wasted if we don't manage what we have. Huge amount of money has been expended on our projects. It's one thing to complete a project. It's another thing to manage it and to sustain them. And in order to sustain them, the owners who make their livelihood, who are the farmers who are producing this produce for us, they need to own the properties. It's not the government that has sunk the money or who has consulted it and will continue to, they're not the owner. But they are making the environment, uh, make, make, make it uh, friendly for them and make it possible for them, conducive for them to be able to do the work.